All right, we are on to our last lesson in this unit. Uh, today we're going to be graphing cosine graphs. As always, today's date is today. Our objective is to identify the properties of a cosine graph and to graph a cosine graph. All right, again, another concept summary. And this is pretty much just like the sine um, however, instead of sine, we've got cosine, but it's the same information and you still need to have it committed to memory. A is the amplitude of the function, B is the number of cycles from 0 to 2 pi, and 2 pi over B is the period of the function. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and play the um, uh, video right there. It's just a couple of extra examples. If you feel like you want to see some more examples, I would just suggest type that into your web browser. If you had trouble bringing that up, let me know. One thing that I kind of want to show you about the sine or the cosine graph, we'll do the parent function right here. So we're going to go from 2 pi. Let's do that in black. Oops. 2 pi. Pi uh, does not look like I drew this to scale. I apologize. Well, on our sine graph, we went from 0, max, 0, min, 0. On a cosine graph, we're going to start at a max, go to 0, min, 0, max. So it's going to look... like that. And then it will that's just one period and it would repeat. So cosine starts with max 0 min 0 max. So, let's go ahead and graph some. On this one, my amplitude is 3. I'm going to have two cycles from 0 to 2 pi. And I probably should have, when I have cycles, I probably should have said from 0 to 2 pi. So my period is going to be 2 pi over 2, which is pi. So let's go ahead. That'll be 3. And I'm obviously counting by 1s. That'll be 2 pi, pi, pi over 2, and 3 pi over 2. The directions on this one say don't just sketch one cycle, sketch it from 0 to 2 pi. So there's going to be two cycles going on here. So I'm just going to add a couple extra hash marks right there. If I wanted to, I could label them. That would be pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4. Let's go ahead and do that. Pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. All right. And I'm going to start at a max, 0, min, 0, max. So there. is one cycle. But that's only from 0 to 2 pi. We need to do that again. Let's go ahead. Sketch the rest of it. All right, let's do another one. Ah, what I notice on this one is that minus sign. That's going to flip it. So instead of starting at a max, we're going to go min. Whoops, let's actually write it out minimum. Min, 0, max, 0, min. So my amplitude is 2. The number of cycles from 0 to 2 pi is 4. And my period 
is going to be 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. So let's go ahead and put some numbers in here. And again, the directions say go from 0 to 2 pi. Alright, um, because there's going to be four cycles, I notice right away I have it grouped into four. So, just for my own benefit, I'm going to put some hash marks in there so that I can see it a little bit easier. Because I'm going to start at a minimum, zero, max, zero, min, in my graph. And it'll look something like that. And then I'm going to repeat that four times. And there we go. Let's do one last one. On this one, looks like my A is 0 0.5. So, if I wanted to, I don't have to count by ones. I could count by, make that 1 fourth, and make that 1 half. Negative 1 fourth, negative 1 half. My B is 1. That means that there's one cycle from 0 to 2 pi. Well, that makes things a lot easier. So my period is just going to be 2 pi over 1 or 2 pi. So max 0 min zero max and there we go hope you enjoyed